Well, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, if you like to fish smallmouth, you definitely want to come to Sturgeon Bay. Yeah, get up It's the definitely a world-class smallmouth fishery. Oh, so it's guides versus the clown squad, huh? That's right. I'm a cricket. The clown squad? 7-1. Oh, you guys want the back of the boat? Ah, uh, no, we're fine up yeah, here. Hey everybody, I've never really introduced my whole family here at Larry Smith Outdoors. Of course, my lovely wife, Julie, and my oldest son, Sawyer. I've got Jacob and Isaac, and of course, you guys have seen the lovely Lucy. But the rest of my family, I've actually got three dogs, two Springers and a Shepherd. This here is the one and only Stella. Shake, Stella. Good morning. Brandy, shake. Shake, Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. We're not playing the stick. Sit, sit. Shake, you know. Shake the other paw. Hey, hey, come here. Shake the other paw. Shake, Brandy, shake the other paw. You know what? I kind of like my kids. They don't cooperate all the time. Are we going bigger? We no, length for sure, because we're not weighing them. Um, dinner. A little bit of a squall this went through, and the wind picked up probably just about, I don't know, 25 miles an hour. But it, hopefully it pushes through here. Definitely find a great time to try to catch that monster smallmouth. Pookie mookie! The seas were not happy with us today. All right, the first guy to connect. Woo. Gotta love that. Hey, today we were up here in Sister Bay and we're fishing with uh, our good friend Lonnie Goldman, of course, and then we've got Dave Murphy and from Premier Floor Coating, and who else? The one and only. The Blankster, Brian the Blanky. We're gonna we're after some smallmouth. There's the first smallmouth of the day. Lonnie, talk to us. Yeah, so I've been on a really good bite up here in Door County. Uh, it's been awesome this summer. We're catching I don't know 25 to 50 fish a trip, and uh, this one in here, and I'm gonna need a pliers back there. Right tonight. by you, Dave. Right by the tub of towels. Oh. We've smallmouth fished with you before, and we always have a, a, a good time doing it. You know, when you're coming up to Door County up here, I would say besides the awesome fishing is the scenery. This is really probably one of the prettiest places in the state right here. It is, uh, Door County's awesome, it's gorgeous. We love it up here, you know, it's a big rock up here. It's uh, all these limestone bluffs and rock piles and it's Smalley Haven up here. It's one of the best smallmouth uh, bass fishing in the country. I believe that and these fish pushing eight pounds, that's incredible, you know. There you go, Dave. Dave. Yeah, hey, hey. And to think he was just about to throw up on the side of the boat. We were out on some rough waters. The guys took me in because I was getting a little queasy. So it's we're not on, worth it. We're It'll on some flat down. water on the bay here, and it's it's awesome. First cast, first fish. Let's do it. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, look at the size of that. Is a Hog. <laughs> Mr. Murphy. Yes. Mr. Murphy, besides the best floor coating business, you actually in the state here, that. you actually can catch smallmouth. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's it's working. Keep her keep it up. I'm fishing with the best fishermen in the world. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what we're, oh, hey, hey! Blanco, right. Blanco. Oh, the... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing? Uh, my pants Murph. are falling down. What are you <laughs> They're too big. I, I told you to hang on to your hiney, but you didn't need to pull your pants down. Push her back. Thank you. Should be good, boys. Fish on again. Murphy. Holy, holy Murphy. Let's go. Let's go. Holy Murphy. Murphy's on fire. So far, boy, that's another nice, nice fish. 
Look at that. I love how clear that water is. Whoa, there she goes. A catch and release. Nothing wrong with that one. You know what we got going here so far? You know, it seems like the best thing has been a jig and a paddle tail. And I've got an oddball here. And uh, paddle tail, I'm going to hook it up. And basically what we're doing is just slow rolling that paddle tail. We're not popping it or hopping it, just basically a, a real slow retrieve on it. And it's game on. And this is kind of just uh, seven, nine, 10 feet flat out here. But those fish are holding right on them rock piles. So we're gonna go back up there and hit those rocks. The clown squad, huh? Oh, oh, so it's guides versus the clown squad, huh? That's right. I'm a crooked. The clown squad? Well, the clown squad is making the guys look like clowns. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> Is your leader gone? Everything. Okay, you know how to retie? <laughs> it's a competition here. Wow, really? Hey, don't, don't, don't slow me down at all. Take your time, all right? <laughs> That's what you're doing, you're down 0 yeah, three. Yeah. You're damn right. Down 3 nothing, yeah. You're damn right. And we're just trying to think of where the leader line is. Where did we put the leader line? Do you, I mean, where did we put that leader line? Did we leave it in a truck? What you do, I gotta show you how to do this. Okay, take the line, turn it into a circle, okay? Yes. You don't need to wet the line down today because it's plenty wet, okay? So take it, go inside, okay? Cup it like that, and then just keep. Twist it around, braid it around the outside. Of yep, the yep, and the key, to, yep, the key to the whole thing is do it about eight times. Okay, okay now take your line Yep, your power strike line. Go back through the same way you went in. You can always tell if you went the right way or not because when you go to clinch it down, if it slides, it means you did it wrong. <laughs> yep, real simple. See him, Dave? Whoa, a dancer. You know what a nice change of pace it is this week to be doing something different from walleye fishing. And I don't know what you're doing differently. I've been watching you. I'm daydreaming. And try to mimic. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about. We've we got to ask you, what are you daydreaming about? Wasn't a girlfriend from seventh grade, was it? Nope. Oh, you don't want to get yourself in trouble on that one, huh? Hey, Dave, I want you to hold that fish up and tell everybody about Premier Floor Coating. Um, Premier Floor Coating is a full-service uh, epoxy resinous um, floor coating installer, installation contractor. Um, we do anything from concrete sealers, epoxy floor coatings, urethane cement floor coatings for food uh, service industries, and uh, joint fill. Hey Dave, you also do some residential stuff and you did an awesome job on my wife's garage which scored a lot of points for me so I can go on some more trips. And uh, why, you know, tell everybody at home why you would want to do your floor in epoxy coating. Well, um, especially in the Midwest here, um, with the winters, salt damage. Um, salt is a corrosive. It uh, pots, pox and pits your floors. Um, if you have an older floor, you can fix that with an epoxy floor. Um, oil doesn't penetrate it. You can wipe it right up. Um, just durability long term and uh, aesthetics. It adds another room to your house. I'll tell you what, when you uh, see the pictures of what my wife's garage looked like before and after, it is a night and day difference and she's a happy camper. So. You know what, it's one of them kind of things where you always like to improve your property, you know, and it's definitely a, a big improvement there. It's a little bit of a commitment moving out your garage if you've had uh, 20 years worth of stuff accumulated, but once it's done, uh, people just love it. They're ecstatic about it. Hey, what are you doing differently than everybody else here? Is it is it really the daydreaming? I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, I can't even claim anything that I'm I'm doing anything better or good, or whatever. Well, keep doing it. I think he knows more than he lets on of it. Yeah, he's pretending like he he's getting sick. Pretended like he was sick. Yeah. And then we go right to the spot where he catches all his fish. One of them guys.
Five to one. Slanky, you them peanuts, them don't, them don't count. Hey, you know, what I'm, Lord, you know what I'm doing? I'm just letting it drop back down, reel up real slow, it's kind of a whip and drop. Your, your technique sucks, Blanky. Yeah, it's good to see the small ones out here once in a while, right? Hey, hey, Brian! Gone, baby. Got the old slow poke, long shank on there. Woo! He wasn't getting off, was he? No, he's not. That's the great part about that hook. That yeah, long shake in there, you get lots of lots of places. Oh, 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 oh. That is definitely a fighter there. Man, oh man. The back of the boat team is kicking our heinies. I'll take the credit, guys. A good good fishing guide always puts his clients on fish. Right. This is a competition. Who cares about them guys? There's dinner on the line. 7 1. You guys went to the back of the boat? Ah, uh, no, we're fine up yeah, here. We're lonely. Lonnie! Yeah, looks I've like been working hair jigs and now uh, back to spinner blades, you know. Oh, you got that spinner blade back on there. Oh, she's jumping, man. Oh, you got a good jumper? Hey, I'll tell you, Lonnie, this is absolutely a ball. We definitely got some high winds today for sure. We're so I don't know about going too far out on the lake we were out there before. Oh, is that, that's a nice fish. Nothing big, but a nice uh, little three pounder. I'll take a three pounder any day of the week. Uh, on the old spinner blade. Beef. Whatever, whatever you grab. And beef. Your mom makes the best damn <laughs> there is. I ain't arguing with nothing. You know the philosophy on this boat? We fishy. <laughs> he eats this much all the time. He just ate a whole bowl of salad. Now he's eating a sandwich, a bag of jerky. I mean, he just never quits. Hey, everybody, it's our favorite time of the day, Leroy lunchtime. Guess what? I'm going to let you guys choose what we're going to have to eat in the next couple weeks from the famous deli at Leroy Meats, either in Fox Lake or Horicon. Comment below and message us on Facebook. Ooh, that's, oh. Oh. oh, so close, but yet so far, my man. So, Mr. Blinky, what'd you do wrong on that fish that we didn't get him in the net? I lifted up on the rod, should have kept the rod tipped down and kept the fish in the water. Yep, there you go. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Good tip of the week. Keep the rod tipped down. Don't let that head come out. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, that broke it. Ah. Whoa! Oh, I got it. Jeez. <laughs> Lon, I think you gotta give some net lessons here to Junior, huh? That's a tank. That's a dandy, my friend. How many inches? About 20. Nice. 20 inches. Blank, I don't know what you're doing. I'll tell you what, but you definitely keep it up. Whoa! Oh. That's a good one, brother. I just saw a rocket come out. Woohoo! So what's the secret? Yeah, so what's going on is uh, just casting real slow retrieve, uh, popping it through the weeds. So you're feeling you know, the bottom a lot, huh? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of bottom, but you know, letting that jig drop down through the weeds and then kind of cool. snapping it back up you know okay. just up and down up and down there's a little moss yeah. on the rocks down there so you're just kind of letting it sit and when you pop pull it up that paddle tail's working on you right, right. well it's working hey whoa man you've been sitting out for a little while kind of getting your composure back and now you make two or three casts and you got a giant smallmouth on hey whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Murph is out! I'm Murph is down. down! Come on, Dave. Woohoo! All, right. All right, Dave. Premier floor coating. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Use a little uh, floor coating in here with some grit on it. Yeah? <laughs> we'll put some on his shoes. Yeah. So, Dave, real quick here. If, if a person's looking at getting their pole barn done, their, their office done, any kind of work done, how long typically does that floor last before it needs some kind of maintenance? 
Um, a lot of it depends on abuse. Um, foot traffic, it could last the life of the building. Um, really? Normal foot traffic, yeah. Uh, polished concrete, if there's uh, salt tracking, grit tracking, stuff like that, there might need uh, some rejuvenation over a five year period or okay. shorter if it's uh, like a grocery store application where it's a lot of traffic. Car service bays, maybe every 10 years for a little bit of um, rejuvenation, but uh, we do all quality um, commercial grade uh, products and uh, longevity is the key with our, with our floors. Love to hear that. All right, Dave, come on, back in the game, get another one. Whoa, oh, man. Nice job, nice job Murph. Murph. Murph in the morning. What the heck is that kind of net job? Yeah. yeah. Them two are not much for nothing, but they're awful <laughs> good at catching. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Feels good. Looks good. What is that? Big sheep's head. Maybe you should let Dave uh, net that one so you can get some more practice on that. <laughs> Rough crowd out here. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you're catching more fish than we are. Call this Arkansas Pollock. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get one yet. Right? Four midnight. Look how pretty that water is. I love how clear it is. Man, you can really see them fish digging down. You guys are the stars of the show for sure. All right, baby. Small. All right, heaven. Oh, oh, hey! Oh, 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 I broke the curse. I stole your thunder. Larry, why don't you come on back here and uh... Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, 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 got out of my hand. Oh, that's what they look like, the bigger <laughs> ones. I didn't know we were after the bigger ones. You didn't say that. You know what we're doing? We're doing a lot of drifting today over these rock piles and that wind is really howling on us. So a great way to get this boat slowed down the way it should be and to control it is basically just by throwing your drift sock out. And what I really love about this drift sock is the material on it. It's a heavier drift sock, so it deploys real easy. Now watch, all you gotta do is take it out like that and it pretty much takes care of itself. Another great product by Delco. Wait, have you not caught one yet? Huh? You haven't caught one yet? One that's like 10 inches. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at back there? And I'm not giving up yet, you guys. You guys got any place to be tomorrow? <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta love it. Jumping to Hoosifers. You're not going to believe it. Jump into Hoosifers. I got one. And I should have done it a long time ago. I put the T-Bone Series Cycle Minnow on. There he is. Why? Oh. Finally, with a good fish, too. He absolutely hammered that, that bait. I should have tried it earlier. I had it sitting here. And Lonnie kept handing me baits. This is, I know what this is. This is collusion between you guys for me to buy lunch. I look know, at look at you now, I finally caught on. Yep. That's a dandy. That's a nice fish. Loving it. Yes, I scored. Well, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, if you like to fish smallmouth, you definitely want to come to Sturgeon Bay. Yep, get up It's the definitely a world-class smallmouth fishery. You know, hey, Lonnie, you have a fall trip that is absolutely fantastic for giant smallmouth up on Washington Island. I go up there from uh, October 11th through the uh, November 1st. Okay. And uh, it's a great trip. There's uh, multiple uh, techniques we use from plastics to uh, live bait to hair jigs. It's all excellent. And uh, it's it's an unbelievable trip, guys. It's, it's well worth the money and uh, we catch a lot of fish. Hey Lonnie, I'll tell you, we definitely had an awesome time and Dave and Brian, they were on fire today, you know? These guys, these guys did well today, uh, they, they got a lot of fish. I, I definitely want to know the technique that they were using because I tried everything that I knew 
and I caught one smallmouth all day. So I did lose the bet, you guys. I do have to buy lunch and I'm gonna buy them. We're gonna go to JJ's here, right? JJ's up in Sister Bay, it's a Mexican place. That sounds good, a little Mexican food. Hey, you know what, Lonnie, if somebody wants to get a hold of you and they're gonna wanna, how can they get a hold of you to come up here and either enjoy some smallmouth fishing, some walleye fishing, or some fall trophy smallmouth fishing? Yeah, we're gonna fish all of uh, August, September, and October up here in Door County, Washington Island. Just reach out to me, 920. 304-0282 or check us out on Facebook at GreenBayTrophyFishing.com and just message me there. But yeah, we got a lot of good fishing left the rest of the year. That sounds awesome. Hey Dave, real quick here, if somebody wants to get their floor done, you know, epoxy, you are the guy to contact and tell them how they can do that. You can call me at 414-412-5895 or you can uh, look at our website at www.premierfloorcoating.com. Hey, you know what, like we like to do every week, we really appreciate all the hardworking Americans in this country that work their butts off every day and keep things moving. And the other part is, remember, it's always a great day to be alive. Until next week, keep her moving. Hey, you can't come up to Door County without stopping and getting some cherries. And you know what, Lonnie, my wife loves to make cherry pie, so you know what, I'm gonna score a few points with her and maybe even get a pie. Let's go grab some. You cherries. know what, I'm gonna get Barra some cherries too. Let's go. Okay. You're gonna get some for Barbara? I'm gonna get some for Barbara, yeah. Come on. Barbara, I'm getting you cherries. You got, you got water on your lens. You got lens on your water. Come on, Lonnie. We're not going in. We're not losing to them clowns in the back. Ah. Oh. Casualties. Go All right, we're going back with the clowns. <laughs> we're safe. They never hit me. We're actually going to be going after smallmouth today, and we. <clears throat> we're actually going to be going after smallmouth. <clears throat> got an M and M stuck in my mouth already. It's like, that is? It must, it must be the peanut one. Right? Yeah, either that or it's got something to do with <clears throat> the the P, the M and M and. The three mosquitoes that I just swallowed. Can't get enough outdoors? Go to LarrySmithOutdoors.com. Follow us on social media for all the latest in fishing reports, tips and techniques, recipes, and other exclusive web-only content. Subscribe to Larry Smith Outdoors on YouTube and hit the notifications button to catch all our weekly videos. Because if you ain't the first to know, you're the last.